Okay, next, uh, I would like to actually touch on a little bit more on the amplifier set itself. So the amplifier set itself, uh, this is the 7.1 set. Set. Right. Uh, at the back, uh, you probably see some connectors. These green connectors are used for later part, whereby we have to actually uh, anchor in our individual speaker wires uh, to the actual speakers itself. Then you have your Containers which I was talking about just now, right? Uh, containers. There are a few, a few different variations. Uh, there are two types actually. This is actually the turn and step on, or this is the turn and step on. This is actually for your microphone receiver, the RF microphone receiver. The last one is actually for your Bluetooth. Right. So once you have this, okay, uh, next is your power cable. Uh, a power is actually using the normal IEC, right? The IEC. And then after that, you have your HDMI out, uh, HDMI 1, 2, 3. For the most of the set that we we will uh, uh, pre pre install for you, uh, pre calibrate for you, HDMI 1 is always for karaoke. Uh, HDMI 2 is always for movie, for Apple TV, for your Android box, for any of your movie watching devices or streaming devices. HDMI 3, uh, it is left open. Uh, you can actually connect game consoles, PS, uh, or any other thing. Uh, yeah. So on our remote itself, uh, there is karaoke, movie, and then uh, so it's HDMI 1, HDMI 2. Right. So Next, uh, so for normal speaker itself, right, uh, you probably need to lay all the speaker cables uh, on the ceiling uh, to the position of your speakers and to the position of this uh, amplifier set. So try to be very uh, precise. Uh, black is black, uh, white is red, white and red is supposed to be the positive. Yeah, so because they are Phoenix connector, so technically they do not really need for us to actually peel off quite a fair bit of distance. So undo it. Okay, undo it. Uh, the polarity is actually uh indicated on the back of the unit. So on the front is actually here, uh, surround, uh, front right, surround right, and then surround back right, surround back left, and then surround left, front left, and then center with subwoofer. Right, so uh, the positive side is always, yeah, is always a white, black, white, black, or positive, negative, positive, negative. So, so, once you are able to actually get these two things inside, okay, you are able to screw it tight. Okay. Screw it tight. So give a little tuck and then uh, this is how it looks. Okay. And on the other end, let me just demonstrate with a little piece of speaker. The speaker that we used just now with the speaker connectors. So the speaker connectors, right? Same thing, uh, I remind you again, there is no polarity or there's no ups or downs. They are all done. Okay, it's the same. Right. So Imagine this particular line is supposed to be in your ceiling or on your wall. Okay, so this portion here, I will just 
peel it off. Okay, and then peel off the other end. Peel off the other end. Yep. So thereafter that, we just need to actually take a look at the uh, black and red. So black is black, oh, sorry. black is black, red is white. So this is my simple term. Black is black, red is white. Of course, if you are using a red and white, uh, red and black speakers, uh, it's up to your preference to term it. So this is one way that you'll be connected. So this portion here is supposed to be hidden inside the ceiling. Yeah. So this is how we connect the entire line across all the seven speakers including the subwoofer itself so the subwoofer is not an active subwoofer it's a passive subwoofer everything actually comes drawn out from the power of the amplifier okay we have come to this part of the video whereby we will just explain to you what is the settings that we have actually pre-installed for you so that you do not need to worry so much about uh, how to actually connect stuff and that uh, but before that uh, just like to actually highlight to illustrate to you okay this is actually two different models one is actually the uh, 3.1 the other one is actually the uh, 5.1 and the 7.1 so they do look somewhere similar it's just that the uh, internally it has got this guy probably has got a uh, four more additional uh, power amplifier and channels so <coughs> the remote itself is pretty simple uh, on off button right and then uh, there is also the karaoke mode uh, movie mode music mode tv mode game mode dj mode but for the simplicity uh, we will only actually touch on uh, karaoke movie and music mode so these three karaoke movie and music will denote uh, hdmi 1 hdmi 2 hdmi 3 so to start off the system uh, normally this is actually the basic uh, heart of heart reset hard off button so in standby mode uh, we can switch it on okay this will uh, cause it to be in standby function so once we press the start button the entire thing will start off so once it starts off uh, it takes approximately around 5 to 10 seconds for it to actually start off okay so in this mode uh, for the systems that we are installing for you, uh, we will always be in karaoke mode as priority. What do I mean by karaoke mode as priority? So when you look at this word itself, okay, uh, it says karaoke. And then uh, it has got a HDMI 1 input. Uh, so this is the basic starting mode that we will always be in when we deliver to you. And then uh, the music will always be 1 volume 1 might will always be volume 1 in karaoke mode so assumingly my I'm, I'm, I'm going to actually press the karaoke button on my uh, remote control okay the karaoke mode will pop up okay in this case the karaoke mode after toggling from my remote control will be HDMI 1 again music 1 volume level 1, mic volume level 30, and effect volume level 46. So this is a preset uh, when you actually press the karaoke function. Uh, before that, it was a preset when you start up the system. Okay, so that is a startup system preset. So now it's actually karaoke preset. Then after that, uh, we'll switch to movie. So what happens to movie? Movie, you can actually uh, connect to your Apple TV or your movie server, uh, any of them. This will be always in HDMI 2. Okay, HDMI 2 with the music being at volume level 1 and then mic is actually volume level 1 also effects is actually volume level 0 in movie we do not normally uh, sing any song so we do not do anything else apart from the music itself right and then lastly uh, on music itself uh, let me just show you okay music is the same uh, HDMI 3 music 1 mic 1 effect is 0 and then the the input function is music. So these are the basic inputs that we will we we actually 
provide for you once we deliver the item. So what happens, uh, you can still do uh, uh, your own ad hoc, meaning to say if you think that, oh, the base is not enough, you can always increase the subwoofer. If you think that, oh, the center speaker is not enough, you can always increase the center speaker. And if you think that, oh, okay, uh, in karaoke mode, uh, I think that... Um, let me just click to karaoke mode. I think that maybe my my uh, reverbs or echo is not enough. I can always increase the effects button. So these are the basic function. Same thing, music, you can always increase. And then mic, you can always increase. And then thereafter that, you have individual HDMI mode. These are the sources okay, that we can actually accept. So if you require uh, to actually toggle between these few sources while you are, for example, singing karaoke. Uh, example, maybe your music HDMI 3, you do not uh, fix on to uh, uh, another player. Instead, you probably put on a, a karaoke DVD player. You wanted to sing karaoke. Okay. By right, we are able to actually change music, okay, HDMI 3, to also uh, open up. That means we can actually program it such a way that oh, when you click music, you are able to switch to HDMI 3. And apart from that, you are able to have your effects and microphone that comes in automatically. But in case okay, uh, you do not have the software to actually do this, do such a calibration, what can you do? Uh, go to karaoke mode. Then go to HDMI 3. So it will still give you the same mode but in a different input, that's all. So it's a very simple system. Uh, hope you understand. Thank you. So uh, next, uh, I'm going to actually touch a little bit on the microphone itself. Uh, so uh, this is the microphone. Uh, it holds two numbers of uh, AA battery. So basically on off is very simple. On off is only uh, this little button. Okay, and on and off. Uh, it runs on radio frequency, ultra high frequency, UHF. So the mini, when I switch it on, okay, if you notice, this little uh, antenna button actually pops out. Right, this little icon pops out. So if I were to off it, okay, this little icon will be gone. So assumably halfway through, uh, if you have issues uh, that the mic doesn't talk with the set itself what should you do so uh, this is another way that you probably need to know uh, you need to actually press this button on the remote control which is called mic pair so you press this button mic pair so this thing pops up so after that you press this on button you press until press and hold until it blinks so you press and hold until it blinks. So now it's actually learning the frequency stuff and that. So it's trying to tell the system, okay, what is my channel? Uh, please learn it for me now. So as soon as this word is gone, okay, it completes the entire process. Uh, so as soon as this mic pair word is gone, it completes the entire process. So it probably takes around 30 seconds or more uh, for this entire process. So what happens is you can do one piece at a time. So to actually complete the both mics in case anything happens. This is uh, a small little part of uh, what happens if this thing happens next. It's just a solution providing. So now, as you can see, once this little word is gone, uh, this will appear, this little antenna will appear. The minute when I switch it off, this little antenna will disappear. So it signifies that, okay, yes, pairing is completed. Uh, apart from this, this set, both set itself, uh, we are also able to install other microphones, right? There are two more slots. So you can actually install two more wireless microphone, two more wireless microphone for your future usage or to expand and extend out individual microphone. But do bear in mind, uh, whatever you're plugged in uh, from here, this these two mic ports might have a different gain volume 
from the original mic itself. So this mic might sound louder or this mic might sound softer compared to your uh, externally inputted uh, input mic. Okay, in this video, I will talk about uh, Bluetooth, Bluetooth function. So notice we have this little button called Bluetooth. Uh, so when you click on it, okay, it says BT. Uh, you can actually pair your uh, handphone such a way that your whatever whatever music that you have from your handphone can actually be played directly. So in this manner, right? You uh, you need to actually press the BT pair button, BT pair. So then after that. Uh, click on your phone itself um, on the Bluetooth button and then let's search for the available devices okay so <clears throat> it's called MK520 MK520 if it is this small little guy is MK320 so the minute I click on it it will start to pair so the minute when I finish pairing there you will hear a sound uh, a beeping sound by the system itself. Let me just try to uh, redo the entire pairing process again. Uh, let me just off this guy. Okay, you hear the her sound? Okay, so in this sound, the, the means to say it has been paired. So with the word connected. So now uh, I can actually go to my music or any YouTube uh, music video to actually show you. Okay, let's just try. So, yeah, I can actually play something out from it so easily.